Folks, have you ever wondered if a full moon plays a part in catching fish during the day? Well, you're going to want to watch this video. Not a perch. That is a catfish. That is a catfish. Smooth the drag. Drag smooth on that. Lovely. Lovely. That's uh, two catfish on my perch rig so far. I'm asking for trouble. That's good, good. Couldn't see that hook where it was heading at. Nice little catfish, channel cat. Get him back. So, I've not been fishing in about three weeks. Uh, the first thing I had to do this morning was catch some bait, uh, put some brim in the boat. I had some minnows with me and was hoping to catch some white perch. I tried a couple of spots, had some baits down, drug around, never could get hit. I'm not sure exactly what the white perch are doing, but it's okay. I've got some brim, bluegill, some warm mouth. Uh, I know the catfish will hit those if they're feeding. Uh, what I want to see is, is whether this bright moon at night is playing a part in uh, keeping the fish from biting. I've heard some different stuff. So, well, we're going to fish. Uh, it's been really bright. It's been clear. There ain't a cloud in the sky. We've got high humidity. Uh, it's just really bluebird skies right now. It's hot, muggy. We're going to see, get these baits in, start dragging, and uh, see if this full bright moon is going to put the brakes on the catfish bite. All right, going to get this chunk back out, a big old piece of brim filet, sand rig. Cast it back out the site. We're just slow trolling through here. Out that way. Needs a little bit of grease. I think old Pinky's got a fish on it, too. Yep, there she is. See how much of a mess she got into. I was reeling in that channel cat. This one went off. Other small fish, but we'll take them. I think it's in this other line too. Pretty warm. It's August. It's a uh, typical late summer, late August fishing. Hi, y'all. Show me a sucker. Another channel cat. Three channels. In a hurry. Another one. This one on a demon dragon style rattle. One of those warm mouth heads. That's what makes me mad. Another catfish. On my perch rig. Now it's in my sabiki and I'm going to have a rat's nest. Ah. This is just one of them days where you got a good problem when you're complaining about catching fish. Don't bite me. I'm your friend. Dragon base through here, folks. Doing about 0.4. Water's pretty warm. It's what, 84.4 degrees? We've got a couple of cool nights, but we're back into the 90 degree highs and a lot of humidity. Dragons here about 0.4, it's just taking my time really trying to locate some perch more than anything. Picking off some channel cats, five so far. Uh, this one probably is a blue, maybe, feeling like it is. A little more weight to it. Then again, it could be a channel. Oop, there's another rod. 
they're slamming it and taking the line pretty good i'm impressed with the bite but no monsters but listen the beats coming out here looking for a skunk keep that out of that line get out of it no it's gonna be tangled nice fish let's see if we can get it to this side Not always easy. Fat football shaped female. <sighs> Good fish there. Nice fat little plump female. Belly's full. Good fish. You're back in the water a lot. I kept working the area back of this creek. Started getting deeper and deeper. Uh, didn't doesn't get super deep in this creek. It's about 22, 23 feet. But uh, it does push on down. So uh, one thing's for sure, though, the moon didn't seem to have an effect on the biting fish. All right, I think we got Pinky going. Yep. Pinky got hit, and Pinky went off to the side. We call it Pinky because it's my pink ancient mariner reel that I got. I've been demoing for several months now. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a pretty good reel. Uh, somebody sent me one to try out. It's the smoothest drag of any reel I've got. I'm not being paid to say that. It is. Of course, it's still new. About the biggest fish we put on it is about 35, 40 pounds. Or I might have had a flathead on it, but guess what I got? Speaking of flatheads. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. That's right. That's right. Speaking of flatheads. Speaking of Mr. Flathead, please tell me you're not in your gill. Come on, get out there. Right below the gill. There we go. Nice. Flathead. Mr. Flatty. There he is. Big old wide mouth, baby. Good fish. Good fish. Lake Wiley's future right there, folks. Nice old flathead catfish. Well, guess what? I've got a blue, a channel, a flathead. I've completed the Lake Wiley Grand Slam. Pretty sure I got one on this rod. Let's see. Tight. Boom. There he is. Not a monster. But we're happy to have him. It's a good bite this morning, to be perfectly honest. I'm not catching any super monster whopper fish, but it's a good bite. And hey, I got a Lake Wiley Slam. What else can you ask for? Oh, he's in two lines. It's going to be a mess. I think it's too late to fix it now. So we'll just have to do a major league reset on that side of the boat. Not even for a monster fish. That breaks my heart. channel there. There you see. Come on. All right, folks, there you have it. That's 10 fish in the boat in a pretty short amount of time. That was about two and a half hours of fishing. Uh, the bite, pretty dang good. That's a good catch rate. Obviously, uh, the full moon didn't have any effect on this time of day bite, uh, being early morning when I was out here fishing from about 7 to 9.30 or 10. Uh, bite was good, good catch rate, uh, and pretty happy, uh, pretty happy with that. Doesn't always work out that way, but like I always say, you got to fish when you can. If you like these videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up and be sure to hit that little bell symbol so you'll be notified when any new videos come out. We look forward to seeing you on the water.